This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Everybody gets a little bit grumpy every now and then. Some of us just have shorter fuses than others. For example, saltwater crocodiles can get pretty upset when you trespass into their territory. Sloths, on the other hand, don't give a flying f Here are five more animals that have a bit of a short temper. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. The Wolverine A large member of the weasel family that looks more like a small bear than a weasel. These guys are notoriously strong and ferocious when taking down prey or defending their territory. They're found throughout much of the northern hemisphere, with the largest populations living in Alaska and Canada. Not much is off the menu for these powerful carnivores. The majority of their nutrition is believed to come from scavenging on carrion, but when they do take down live prey, they do so with gusto. They've been known to hunt and kill animals such as rabbits, porcupines, beavers, deer, elk, caribou, and even moose. Smaller predators such as foxes, lynx, and wolf and coyote cubs are also occasionally preyed on. There is even one account of a wolverine killing a polar bear. Number 2. Africanized Bees More commonly known as killer bees. Africanized bees are actually a hybrid subspecies of the African honeybee and the European honeybee. The crossbreeding first took place in Brazil, where beekeepers were attempting to breed a bee that would both thrive in tropical locations and produce a lot of honey. Unfortunately, in 1957, 26 swarms were accidentally released from quarantine and have since migrated throughout Central and South America as well as the warmer parts of the US. What makes Africanized bees different from European honeybees is that they are stupidly defensive of their hives. They react to disturbances 10 times faster than other bees and will pursue a threat for up to half a mile or more. Africanized bees have killed roughly 1,000 humans and many other animals, even though their venom is no more potent than their European cousins. What also sucks is that the Africanized gene is dominant, so crossbreeding with native bees in the wild almost always results in more hyperaggressive bees. Killer bees look very similar to European honeybees, although they are a bit smaller and darker in color. Number 3. The Tasmanian Devil While it's not quite as aggro as its animated counterpart, there is still a lot of pent-up hostility in this tiny, adorable ball of fur and teeth. I say tiny, but they're actually the largest carnivorous marsupial that's alive on the planet today, weighing between 13 and 18 pounds and reaching just over 2 feet in length. Although they don't have the strongest bite force of any animal on the planet, they do have the greatest jaw strength in relation to their body size of any living animal able to crush bone and even bite through thick metal wire. The only thing more intimidating than a Tassie Devil's bite is its bark. In their native land of Tasmania, these nocturnal scavengers can be heard at night fighting each other for food, which can be pretty unsettling if you don't know what it is that you're listening to. Listen to this. Number 4 Number 4 Num Number 4. The Hippopotamus It's funny how Western culture always depicts hippos as these fat, ballet-loving river cows that are super friendly and playful. Meanwhile, South Africans are watching Fantasia like, that isn't what they act like, hey? They don't wear tutus or dance with crocodiles. That accent needs a bit of work. Hippos are one of the most aggressively territorial animals on the planet, responsible for roughly 3,000 human deaths every year. You'd expect them to be slow and lumbering because of their massive size, but on land they can run as fast as 20 miles per hour. Spoiler alert, that's faster than you. And inside that big beautiful happy face are sharp canines and incisors that are over a foot in length and are used exclusively for combat and defense. Hippos are considered by many to be the most dangerous animals in Africa, other than mosquitoes of course. Number 5. The Honey Badger The most fearless and badass animal on the planet. Remember that viral video from five years ago? It was pretty accurate. Honey badgers legitimately don't care, and they really don't need to. Not only are they incredibly muscular, have sharp claws and a gnarly bite, they also have really really thick skin. The skin on their back is tough enough to stop almost anything with claws and teeth, and can even block a direct hit from a machete or an arrow. Honey badgers are believed to be the most fearless animals on the planet. There's even video evidence of two honey badgers picking a fight with six lions and walking away without a scratch. I'll post a link to that video on the 5 Weird Animal Facts Facebook page. And just because they fight well doesn't mean that they fight fair. One of the honey badgers favorite moves to take down large animals such as water buffalo is to jump up and bite off their testicles. Dear God. If you ever find yourself face to face with a honey badger defending its territory, don't worry. While I was in South Africa last year, I discovered a foolproof way to defend myself from these vicious killers. Simply sit down next to them and lovingly scratch them behind the ears. Within seconds, you will have earned the honey badger's trust, at which point they will roll onto their backs and let you rub their bellies. 
I miss that honey badger. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Check out all my social media, blah blah blah. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts.